Hey guys, today on this episode of the Dental Equipment Repair Channel, I want to go ahead and cover something that has been a problematic pain in our rear end for quite a while. We're going to talk today about Benmark M11 door motors and why, why, I'm going to tell you why they fail. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> Okay, guys, so if you repair dental equipment, you know what I'm talking about. There is a scenario where you get a Midmark M11, M9, um, and you replace the door motor. And then within about two months, you get the call back and the door motor has failed. And the way that the door motors work is there's a motor that turns when it's time to open the door. There is a little linkage here or a little cam. And then there's a little a little linkage here like this. And what happens is it all fits in right there, okay? The door motor goes in right there. The cam, the cam turns and the cam turns. And then this little doodad right here turns that, okay? So what's basically happening is the is the motor, okay, as the motor rotates this little thing here, okay, as the as the motor rotates, um, this part turns, and that turny uh, is what where the rod goes in, and that makes it go up and down. So you have basically a mechanical situation, <clears throat> and the mechanical situation is <clears throat> what is basically making the door open. Now there's a, there's a little switch here and the switch tells the door motor when to stop and then when to reverse. So what we learned today was that the new motors that are coming out, um, they kind of, they look like this. There's a couple ways that you can tell they're new. Number one, they have a metal back and they also have like a sticker that's on the side. Okay. Side sticker, metal back, and then also the little arm thing here has a hole right in the middle of it, okay? See that hole right there by my finger, okay? Um, the old style has a plastic back, sticker on the back, and then on the other side, there's actually the linkage here, um, does not have a hole. So we'll go ahead and show you right here so you can tell, like, New versus old, okay? See, the the new here has no hole, or I'm sorry, old has no hole. Old, good, new, new, bad. All right, bet you're wondering what's going on. I will tell you. Here we go. All right, guys. So what's going on here is basically these are the two motors and um, I'm going to go ahead and make it easier. So this is the new and this is the old. Okay. So we have an old one and a new one. Okay. So what's going on here is the um, motors um, have the means of operation or these motors and the rotational shafts. Now, I don't know if you can tell from there, but basically this old one right here, okay, is a larger shaft than, than this one right here, which is the new one, okay? So we have the old large shaft and the new small shaft. And um, one thing I'll go ahead and show here is we'll use our caliper. And so we're zeroed out there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go right there and we'll just go around the main part of the shaft. And so we can see that that is, that's 6.25, okay? About there, 6.12, 2.5. There is a little bit of a difference, okay? There's a little bit of a difference if you're in the spline, 6.02, okay? So about six. 
so it, it just depends where you're measuring. But, okay, but it's less than 0.25, 6.25, and we're in millimeters. Then we go down here to the old one, okay, and the old one is going to be 6.62. All right, so basically this old shaft is larger, okay, than this shaft, which is the newer one, okay? And that exactly, that is the reason why they're failing. All right, so now what does this information mean? This information means that at a glance, you can tell the difference between the new, which has this type of a motor on the back, and then the old, which has a plastic back. Now, these are sourced from uh, another company, and I don't know, after COVID, manufacturing got weird, but one of the mistakes that was made was they changed the dimensions of the motor so that the mechanical dimensions changed. And I would say that because the nature of the rotational force of like getting the door open and closed is putting strain on the motor, the smaller shaft is the reason why these are failing and the way they're failing. And I hope this helps. I hope this makes sense. The, this is definitely something where now that you're aware of it, you can kind of avoid putting in motors that are likely to uh, fail. And again, the things that you're going to check for are the, um, the, this sort of a vented back sticker on the side. Also, you're going to be looking for this piece right here that actually has a hole that goes directly over where it goes on the shaft. So when you look at the end of it, you're going to, it's going to look like that. And that is the, um, that's the main indicator that it's, that it's not likely going to last. Um, and because we're kind of tired of changing these out. And then this is what it's going to look like if it is right. Okay. So this one lasted two months and it's bad. And this is one that we had that was still good there. So hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, so that when you go to work on these M11s, you have a little bit more information and you avoid putting in parts that are going to um, not last as long as they should. Um, I am going to send this to the company that I bought this from and hopefully they'll um, be able to use this information in their um, resolution of this issue because we honestly need motors that work. And um, sending us parts that we have to replace and then we have to go back out and refix it. That's not good for my business and um, that's not good for anybody's business. So um, thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this was helpful.